Hello there and welcome back to another video. It is day two of doing a video every day. I'm already feeling it. Check the description of my last video and I'll explain why. The theme of today's video is going to be fixing things. I've already got my barnet fixed, but some other things are needing fixed too. The thing that needs to be fixed the most in my life right now is Jeffrey. This is Jeffrey. And as you can see, Jeffrey's looking a wee bit worse for wear. He's got a baldy tyre and he's bogging. I've not been taking care of Jeffrey properly, but today is Jeffrey's big day out. Jeffrey's second treat of the day. Oh, let's fix him. He's dirty. Jake, Jacobs, many channels. Very good. Sponsored video. Oh, so good. Say hello to my little friend. Say hello to my little friend. Can you spit it out. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, this is the. I think it's going out. This is the pumpkin. Wait. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Soapy. Soapy, Soapy. Jeffrey's lucky day, guys. Look at him getting all clean. Oh, smash. Jacob. Jacob. Look, Jacob. Look, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob, look. Very nice. <laughs> That's a thumbnail, mate. That is a thumbnail. I love it. I love cleaning the camera. Jeffrey, I'm going to need to do this to you, though. Don't forget the registration plate. Can you see that? I know. Shit. Sure. <laughs> 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 Who just did that? 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 Who just did Whoa! Time for Jeffrey to get a wee clean inside now. Oh, Hello. Hi. This is the why you need to maintain the car. Let me get that. Oh, hello. I don't think this is cleanable, but I'm gonna try. You just gonna call Jeffy? Yeah. You know your car's a girl, right? What? You know your car's a girl. <laughs> no, you, you, my car's a boy. Look, guys, my car's a boy. I've had this said to me before that you can't call your car Jeffrey because it's supposed to be a girl, but nah. Jeffrey. Look at that, Ka Calvin's. Calvin's. Nothing less. Yeah. Calvin. Cal Give me a quick, get a close up shot. Get a close up shot. Nothing closer. Come closer, hurry up. Oh, what the hell? What was the. What was the. Like, what the hell, man? So there we go, Jeffrey's been cleaned, he's been washed, he's been given new shoes in the form of a new tyre. He's been treated, my wee boy's been treated, but it's going to need a professional to clean this up, man. You know what they say, can he polish a turd? Fantastic. <laughs> 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 oh, 
I'll see you later. See ya. I have this camera. Something that needs to be fixed and needs to be fixed soon is the managerial position at Rangers. A couple of years have requested in the comments of my recent videos that I should speak about this issue, so I'm going to speak about it. A couple of days ago it came out that Matt Warburton had resigned from his post along with David Weir and Frank McParland. But then, 20 minutes later, Matt Warburton told the BBC that he hadn't resigned. What actually happened is, I think from what I've heard and what I've read, Matt Warburton and his team thought that they were going to Forest, not in Forest. They'd sacked their manager and they were looking for a new manager. Matt Warburton was right up there in the odds. They thought that they were going to go there. So they asked for Rangers to accept a resignation. So the board met, accepted it, and by the time we'd accepted it and made up our mind, Nottingham Forest had already told their interim manager that he was going to be there until the end of the season. So Warburton actually done his sale out of a job. That's why he was trying to wiggle himself back into his post. But Rangers was like, no, you, you wanted to resign, you wanted to leave, go on. So I have no sympathy for Warburton. The Murtys came in, the under-20s coach, he's obviously going to do as best as he can, but he's not going to be there long. Pookie's favourite is Alex McLeish, Big Egg. Been there before, won titles, done well with Rangers, went on to Scotland, Aston Villa, Birmingham, teams like that, and did well. Rangers contacted Ross Wilson, who was the head scout for Southampton and he was responsible for bringing in a lot of big names to Southampton and making them big bucks so we've contacted him apparently to become football director so if we're going along that route you would lean more towards Frank De Boer because he's worked under a football director at Ajax whereas Big Ek hasn't he's not worked under a football director but it's looking at Big Ek um, will be the manager so Tell me what your thoughts are. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is day two. Day two of me making videos every single day. Keep leaving ideas in the comment section what I should be doing in my videos and I'll try and do them as best as I can. I have got many ideas and I will be doing them as well. And I'm really excited where this is going to take me. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video. Share my other videos. Go and watch all my videos. And thanks for watching. I'm out.